Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another American Horror Story Coven. This is episode 10, uh, and I've just finished watching episode 9. So I'm ready to get straight into it. Yeah, no recap for me. It's, it's fresh on my mind. So this one's called The Magical Delights of Stevie Nicks. We have so much to talk about. And not tonight. Tomorrow we'll draw the battle lines. Uh, After you first. Fiona wants immortality though, innit? From Marie. Will she give it? Is she even going to ask for it? <laughs> ah! Fucking hell. Oh, fuck! Your master calls. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> Tonight's the night to pay me my deal. I want what's coming to me tonight. Once a year, you must pay my price. Is the bargain you made so long ago? Go on. <laughs> fuck. Oh my god, he scared the shit out of me. I think I was a bit too loud with that jump scare, but I can't help it. Like I get scared so easily. Ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am, it's the middle of the night. You'll have to come back during visiting hours. Open the door. Jesus. What is this man? What is this? She done something. I couldn't read it. I couldn't read it. I need this baby. Put the goddamn baby down. No! I warned you. Shut up. Give you something to cry about. If anyone has any information, my fault. All of it. I told him I was filing for divorce. He was so angry. I should have seen. It ain't on you. It's on me. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Truth comes out. Truth comes Your out. Your husband was a witch hunter. Whoa. You're not just blind. You are willfully blind. What we have to do is to find the hive. We do have to find the hive. It's like some top-notch place, though. It's like proper five-star shit. Baby that was from oh, that was recently. I didn't know that was recently. Well, that was a morbid field trip. Queenie's dead. We don't know that. They haven't released the names. Queenie ain't she dead. Be at the soup plantation. You know how much that bitch loves a bottomless bowl. Should we go to the morgue? No. no. Is Queenie dead? For witches, you guys are such squares. Maybe if oh did Queenie kill herself to save I dunno. I'm a huge Eminem fan. When's he get here? Huh. Marsha, you're not his type. And more importantly, you're not the next Supreme. What about the seven wonders? I have no doubt she'll pass everyone. Jealousy, there's a bit of jealousy there. So let's schedule the Seven Wonders, me versus Misty. And we'll see who the next goddamn Supreme is. Hmm. I don't think it's either of them. I don't think it's either of them. You can't help me. You can't help anyone. You're worthless. Hopeless. Get out of my sight. The hell? Is 
She's up to something, man. Fiona's always got something else up her sleeve. Contingency plan. Always. If I was the Supreme, I would only do good. I believe that. You know, Hospital. Even... Yeah, Luke's dead. <laughs> Maybe you're the kind of leader we need. <laughs> I think they moved Luke. I can't hear him. Hmm. Can I help you? Yes, uh, we're here to see Luke Ramsey. I'm so sorry. Luke died yesterday. I want to see him. Have you ever been in love, Molly? What has she done to you? Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, she, she's the one that cut off the head. You can help me live, Molly. <laughs> I wish I could. You know the secret. I gave her a vial of my tears. If I gave it to you, you'd still be bald and weak and living at your last days over and over for all eternity. Who gave it to you? That guy that visited her. So my soul. Oh. The Papa Legba. Papa. You conjured him up. No, not my baby. Take it back, Papa. Take it back. Take the spell back. I can be mortal again. Take it back. No, you know that in our work, sugar. Give the child to me. I want my innocent soul. random as shit. I have him cremated. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Bollocks. You bitch! I think it's time for us to go. You killed him with that pillow. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here. What are you doing? Whoa. Go. Whoa. Stop. Whoa. Whoa. She's gonna drink it. You have to be cleansed. Damn, Nanny's on something. How did she know about the pillow, though? Nobody is coming near us. It's like a tornado ripped through this company. There's nothing natural about this. It's time we finally deal with those witches. God, they're, they're like sat on their ass. They only had Hugh, go, Hank going after him. Papa, Papa. She's summoning Papa. Papa. Who's pregnant? Is anyone pregnant? What baby is she going to steal? I don't want to die. Same as everyone. I am not the same as everyone. This could be a big ticket night for you, Papa. Seal it. Ooh, this is some big shit, man. She's literally signing her soul away. She, I'm, I think she's gonna refuse one time, and he's gonna be like, "Very well." He's gonna kill her. Off. You have nothing to sell. You have no soul. Oh shit. Ah. I have no soul. I'll just kill them all. Get out of here, man. You ain't doing that. You're gonna kill all of them for what? You, there's no, there's no point. For what purpose? Nan. Nan the 
baby back to her, or I'll make you do it. Go on then, stand up yourself. Mm. Now leave. I barely remember my baby's face. So when I look at this child, I feel like she mine. But Baba's coming. He needs the soul of an innocent. Perhaps we can kill two birds with one stone. Jesus Christ! I didn't think she was this strong! I never have! Oh, you're such a fuss! You left the first witch to be drowned! I was very clear. Come, child. Thank fuck for that. Do I have to wear this outfit for all eternity? Not at all. You will find the other side is filled with tweets for a girl like you. Okay, I was very quiet that episode, not gonna lie. I apologize for that. I think the reason is because obviously Stevie Nicks was in it. Then that Papa guy was introduced. There was like no Delphine, no Kyle. I didn't actually know. I mean, they said it. I think Zoe said it amongst Madison and Nan on the way into the academy they said is queenie dead i didn't think queenie was dead because of the voodoo thing but maybe maybe queenie could have done anything to her body and not like get seriously hurt or damaged or die from it apart from if it's in the head but i remember versus the zombie she literally slit her own throat that's that's why i think queenie is still alive or she didn't die. I mean, she shot out the back. It came out the back of her. Uh, came out the back of Hank's head. So she shot. She shot herself through the brain as well. Then, what happened to Delphine? Delphine was upstairs. She must still be upstairs, unless Queenie's up there as well. I don't know. I don't know because there's no confirmation about Queenie's death. That's why I don't want to say yet. I think it's. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird how the whole season has been Marie against Fiona. Like, kind of back and forth, back and forth. And then they were, like, they were like teaming up to drown Nan in a bath. Why can't Fiona just take no for an answer? The Papa guy said, "We there's no deal. You don't have a soul. That's the end of it. You have no soul. You have no soul to give. So why are you still trying? I don't know, is there a partnership being made then, or is Marie and Fiona teaming up to kill all the witches? Is that the partnership? I mean, Marie's getting the better end of the deal here, because all of her life, she said she's like 300 years old, she's been fighting witches all of her life, wanting them dead, and now she's with Fiona, and Fiona... Wants all the witches dead as well. So it's, that's good for Marie, if anything. She's been fighting witches her whole life. And luckily, the head, the queen of the witches also wants the witches dead. Like the most powerful witch there is at the moment, the Supreme, miraculously wants witches dead too. Which is fantastic for Marie because that's what she's always wanted all along. She's had, she had no other choice but to go there to get to settle the truce because Hank killed everyone else. She, has, she doesn't have anyone, Marie. She, may ha she might have Queenie, but I don't know if Queenie's dead or not. I need confirmation. And Nan? What the fuck? So Nan's, Nan reappeared behind Papa and they walked off together. 
But Nan was like, am I going to have to wear these same clothes all my life? So Nan is dead as well now. But she gets to live forever with Papa. Is that what happened? It was all, it was all a little bit too fast. Marie and Fiona were talking in the room here. And then they cut to drowning Nan. And then Papa came along. And then Nan came out from behind and said, am I going to wear these clothes for the rest of my life now? Like, what the fuck? And Nan made the mum drink bleach. So Luke is dead. The mum is also now dead because she drank bleach. I mean, if you don't die from that, I don't know what I don't know what will kill you. Nan is dead as well now. I don't know. These episode tens, it happened in Asylum. I'm not sure if it's happening now, but it seems like whenever episode ten or eleven comes around. It feels to me like they're just killing people just to, just to finish off the storyline. Like, if they kill off the mum, they don't have to worry about that storyline again. Like, that's her story complete. I don't like that. I hate how... I hate when there's, like, no deaths all season. And then in one episode, like, three or four people of of quite importance, of great importance... Die. Fuck, man. It happened. It happened in asylum with Sister Mary and Doctor Arden. They died within five minutes of each other. Dominant characters throughout the whole show dying in the space of five minutes. Fuck, man. And in episode ten, it kind of happened again. I didn't get the whole Stevie Nicks thing. I don't know why. I mean, Fiona brought her along because Misty Day was obsessed with her. And she could she could have done with the confidence. Oh, well, Misty Day's been, like, buried alive as well by Madison. And the guy that was originally in the coffin is now walking around freely, aimlessly. How's Misty Day going to get out? I reckon the only way for Misty Day to get out would be for someone to find the guy that was originally meant to be buried and say... What the fuck are you doing? You, you're you meant to be dead. And if you're here, then who's in the coffin? That's the only way I can see Missy Day getting out. As far as predictions go, I don't have any, man. I feel like people are just going to start dropping dead now, maybe. Just for the sake of it. Just to speed things up for the show to end. Obviously, obviously Madison's not going to succeed, I don't think. She's, like, self-obsessed at the moment. She says her heart problems have gone because she's been resurrected. I can see Misty Day getting out. I don't know who the Supreme is. I thought it might have been Nan at one point because of the whole forcing the mum to drink bleach. I mean, that's quite a strong power to have what Nan had. I mean, she could read minds, but she could also make people do what she wanted. She also made... Zoe like fall down and then scoot all the way back to the end of the wall whilst still controlling the mum so Zoe over here she's controlling Zoe uh, yeah get back to the wall and then she's still uh, drink bleach that's powerful but I mean I don't, she's dead she's dead now she got drowned she got drowned by Fiona and Marie the two most unlikely of people to cut to to come together to join to make some kind of partnership slash friendship i never thought i'd see that especially after in the early episodes they were talking shit to each other with the zombies marie made zombies go to the house fiona cut off the minotaur's head sent it back Marie then sent her, Fiona, the head of Delphine. Like, they've been at each other constantly. And now they're, now they're best of buddies. Oh, I don't get it. P predictions, man. I've got no idea. I thought the mum was... I knew the mum was crazy. But before episode 9, I thought she was involved a lot... A lot more. Just because of what she said to Luke about unmaking him. 
Well, I guess she killed him with a pillow. Kyle. I mean, I think end of episode seven, or in episode seven, or eight. Episode eight, Madison was eavesdropping on Kyle and Zoe when they were hugging each other, and then Madison got a little jealous. That could have been a turning point for her, I guess. But that's why she's going a bit evil and wants to be supreme. Everyone wants to be supreme. Has this ever happened before in history? Has everyone... I suppose there was a council before, innit? But the council had gone now because Myrtle, like, dismembered them. And now Myrtle is playing some sort of instrument in the greenhouse. It's It's all gone a bit crazy, that place. There's no... I don't know, everyone's doing what they want. There's no, like, discipline anywhere. There's no real leadership. You've got the Supreme, who's meant to be the leader, drowning one of the witches in the bath with one of their biggest enemies in the history of Salem witches. And then you've got Hank's dad in this huge corporation. They've lost, like, 50% of their equity or wherever it is and it's just like oh, okay i think they introduced them a bit too late because I, i'm not really that interested in that storyline hank's dad like witch hunters and stuff i'm not really that interested in it it's a bit too late it's already it's episode 10 like introduce them in like episode 5 maybe not episode 10 because there's only three episodes left so it makes me think they're obviously not going to get anywhere, are they? They must get their comeuppance somehow. But if they were, if they were introduced in episode 5, Hank's dad and all that lot, I'd have been like, okay, maybe there's a few twists along the way. Maybe they could survive or something, or that maybe they could kill Hank off for not doing well or whatever it is. But because they got introduced so late, I don't really care that much. I might leave it there because... A lot did happen, but not enough for me to like talk about it. It just feels like the show's coming to an end and they're doing kind of what they want to like shorten the storylines of everyone by killing other people off. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to American Horror Story cover in episode 10. If you did enjoy this reaction, you can watch the full reaction over on my Patreon as well as the previous nine episodes. They're all on there as well on my Patreon in full. You can also watch the full reactions to the whole of Season 1, Murder House, and Season 2, Asylum. And if you're watching this episode, Episode 10, on YouTube, uh, that means there's an early access feature on my Patreon, which is earlier episodes are on there before my YouTube, in full as well, if you didn't know. Uh, and in this case, if this is Episode 10, it should be Episodes 11 and 12, and because there's 13 episodes, maybe 13 as well. So 11 and 12 will be on my Patreon as well to watch right now. Um, if there's any more, maybe episode 13, the finale, I'll put something up here. But because I haven't even watched 11, 11 12 and 13 yet, I don't know what will be up there. So I'm just predicting the future a little bit. But yeah, thanks guys for watching again. And... I'll see you for episode 11. Take it easy.